Hey Libra, how's it going? Gwen here to do a beautiful reading for July for you. Um, I was called, I've been doing all my readings inside until I got to your reading. And I was like, change it up. Change up the location. Change up your outfit. Change it all up. You can find a spot outside to do this. You need to be out in nature, Libra. The winds of change here for you, Libra. Communion with the eagle. Oh, so good, so good, so good. Look at these messages flying out already. I'm using my brand new deck, Earth Magic. These are going to be for energies for the first part of July, okay? For Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Remember, this is a general reading, so take what resonates and leave the rest, okay? If you want your own personal private reading, I can do that for you. All my information is in the box below, and I am now booking readings. So just reach out to me through email. Or if you follow me on Facebook, it's Mystic Gwen, and it's Instagram as well as Mystic Gwen. So... I love you, Libras. You know I do. I'm here for you. I love you. I love all the support that you give the channel, how all the beautiful comments, the good karma donations. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So, what do we got going on for Libra? Eagle. Eagle's your power animal right now. Communion with those winged messengers. Okay? What happens in a storm, right? These the hawk and the and the falcon and the owl and the eagle they fly upon high right right so communion with your ancestors through the animals by the way absolutely eagles now your power animal many of you may be ooh i didn't know what here in maui it rains quite a bit you know i'm basically living in a rainforest right lushness in the greenery right so i didn't wipe up the table before i started I just was so excited to start this outside. And your karma, your DNA card just landed in this water. So it could be very emotional time for you right now. This The double helix snake that's being depicted here talks about your healing. Um, but also your spiritual ascension and your connection um, with ancestors through your DNA. Um and also, we're in Saturn retrograde. I have to, like, they want me to point that out when this karma card comes out. Because what you've been putting out into the world is going to come back to you, Libra. Okay? I mean, we're, I just saw a beautiful butterfly. Oh, that speaks to transformation. It's a monarch. And now a wren just flew in. Oh, I couldn't come here and see me. Please let the Libra see it. Here it is. This just flew over my head. Yes! See, get out in nature. It's a change of scenery for you. Oh. Communion of the birds. The birds are chirping. They're little wrens, by the way. Or I think. I don't know. Like, beautiful angels surrounding you, Libra. Wow, the monarch. What a beautiful blessing for it to, to fly here in the middle of your reading. As I'm talking about karma. Wow. Oh, magic, 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 magic. Now this card fell on the floor in the water again. In the water again. It's all right. These cards are going to be just fine. The old me would have been fretting about this. But nah, nah, nah. This, uh, this. Completion. You're coming to the end of a cycle. Full moon. So this could be a time frame. Okay? So when's the next full moon? I didn't look that up. Okay? We just had a new moon, right? So by the next full moon, there's some sort of cycle, some sort of lesson that's coming to a completion full moons are about release that solitary tree there knowing your roots standing strong and what you believe in right beautiful what else for libra energy moon speaks to illusion right moon speaks to your fears you're coming full circle like there's a lesson that you're learning and it's you're completing it and that's awesome okay I will be reading to you the communion card. That eagle card is very important. What else for Libra energy? Next time I need to sit on a pillow. <laughs> I need a tough it. Because I feel like I'm like way down here. The table's right here and my chin's going to be on the table. And it's really warm right now. The sun is beating down. Get some solar energy on your body. The sun is good for us. They've been programming us incorrectly. You know? Absolutely, the sun. We need it. I'm not telling you to go out there and get yourself burnt. But, like, 
10, 15 minutes in the morning, 10, 15 minutes in the night, maybe do some sun gazing as, you know, look that up. Don't damage your eyes, but like you can draw energy from the sun, right? What is this card? Love and compassion, a helping hand, a friendship, a new kindred connection. Pour love and compassion into a situation. Pour love and compassion into your own cup. Be more empathetic. Be more compassionate with your journey. Okay? Mm. Love is all around you, Libra. It's showing up everywhere. I mean, look at how interactive this reading has been. You know? That's why I wanted to do it outside for you. Okay? Is there another one? You're gaining a new perspective. The Milky Way is here. Perspective. Expanding your awareness is what that says. You are a multidimensional being. What else? For Libra. My Libra loves. Ooh, I'm sweating now. Maybe it's time to get outside and sweat. Sweat out the toxins. Who is it warm out here? I didn't realize. Even with the breeze. We should be in shorts. What else for Libra loves? There comes the perspective again. And it's flipped upside down. So maybe you're seeing things from the wrong angle. Take a different approach. Flip the script. That's why I said, change a location. I needed to get outside to do your reading. I follow my gut instincts. It's wolf, okay? Strength surrounding you. The mountain is here, okay? We learn so much when we climb the mountain, right? So many lessons, right? Woo, I will be reading you that one too. They're like, you just got to go to the book. Allow the unfoldment. The lotus has already bloomed. Allow the unfoldment. You might have received just a huge wake up call, maybe a big tower moment. Like I said, there's a lots of emotions involved in this reading as well. A dove just flew in. Ah, I love it. Okay. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Be peace. The dove says be peace. Um, sometimes in a traumatic event like a tsunami, I mean, think about it. Everyone's just like running crazy and it's chaos and oh my God, oh my God, oh my God, right? Like, so uh, you're strong, Libra, right? The allow love, open your arms uh, wider to receiving. And now the little raindrops are falling on me while I'm here. Yeah, like teardrops from heaven song. Oh, oh, good Lord. <laughs> I don't know that song. But they just said the name of it in my ear. I don't want to sing it. No, I'm sorry. This wake-up call is super emotional. Right? There's a large displacement of land, usually with a tsunami. So you could have been displaced from a, some sort of safety, like, or home even. Um, you could be in a mass amount of chaos right now and confusion. And spirits got you. There's a, a, a need to, like, I keep seeing these birds. The birds, the birds, the birds. The birds are your messengers, and I will read this to you. Okay, darlings? Let's see here. Communion, the eagle. This is the first time the eagles come out for me in this deck. So, no, this is a power animal for you, Libra. If the, if the eagle is, is re resonating for you, if that's your power, if that's your totem animal, drop a love down below. Just give me an emoji. Let's talk to the eagle here, okay? He loves you. They love you. Whether you experience a heartfelt communion with some physical expression of life, plant, animal, human, or anything else, it is only then that you can truly feel how your life force is similar to the life force that is all around you. It is only a matter of differences in form. An essence is articulated into the physical world in a multitude of ways. That is the same in everything and everyone, although it manifests in various shapes and characteristics. This essence is spirit emanating from the core of all things. Communion with nature is essential for you now. That's why I had to be out here. Okay? It totally makes sense when you follow your gut instinct and then it's immediately, like once your third eye is open, like it just, it's like you see it, you feel it, you know it, right? <laughs> Take some time to do an open eye meditation with any nearby animal or plant. Relax your body as much as possible, breathe consciously, and keep your attention on the life form you are communing with. After a few moments, you will notice a sense of the boundaries dissolving, a melding of the I and thou. You may even receive messages or impressions as you find yourself in the flow of unspoken communication.
This man has actually performed a ceremonial calling to this eagle, okay? Eagle spirit is often associated with the highest and noblest, encouraging us to let our spirits soar. Through this communion, we know that we can touch the sky. We know that we can be more than two-legged creatures clinging to the ground. We're intimately related to all of life on the planet, and it's through communion, communing with any expression of life that we realize how vitally connected we all are. Fantastic, darling. So, it is going to start to rain on me. <laughs> Let's just keep doing it. I've never done a reading in the rain. You know what I'm saying? There's a first time for everything, and I'm all about first in this rebirth of my new life. Hell yes. What is the eagle trying to tell me? What is the eagle trying to tell the Libras out there? Libra energy. Libra energy. Libra energy. Libra energy. Yeah, there's a lot of sleepless nights. You're up, trapped up in your head about something. Nine of swords. Nine of swords. Here comes the raindrops from heaven. Yep. Yep, it's raining on me. Okay. And the six of swords. Yep, you're up in your head. Up in your head. Uh, you're being protected at this time. There's a trusting, loving hand on a shoulder here. You see that? Mother and child to being depicted here. Maybe even you and your inner child. I need to leave a situation behind, possibly. And get some rest. Four of swords. All swords for you. <laughs> of course. Libra. Rest, meditation, communion with, with spirits out in nature. Okay. What's this wake-up call about? I need to know about this wake-up call as the heavens are pouring upon me. What is this wake-up call? What is it? Hold back just a little bit for me, y'all. Hold back just a little bit. I'm almost done. Ah, oh, the lovers is here. Yes, this Gemini energy coming into the reading. This is about ah, relationships that feel good, a soulmate connection, a kindred connection, a new love. It's about a, it's about a love in your life. Or that love that you feel for yourself, this wake-up call. Temperance, being patient, allowing things to unfold. And the need for balance, the need with communion and with nature, there it is again. The Two of Pentacles is the juggler, right? She sits on the lily pad. Two of Pentacles is about choices as well. Guess what? You could stop juggling if you want to. Yeah, it is, you're in charge of this video game. Your relationships are supposed to feel good. Two of Cups energy on the underlying here, okay? And this is about Hierophant. This is about so maybe you've been sticking with tradition too long. Maybe you need to flip roles here, become the student again, right? Step outside of the box. Do something different. This is a beautiful part of your spiritual journey. It's a time to celebrate you. Four of Wands, it's called a sacred marriage. Uh, we all have masculine and feminine within us, right? It's time to take a look in the mirror and celebrate you, my loves, okay? Queer you are at the underlying energy on the bottom of the deck, the Queen of Swords. The winds of change are here. <laughs> a storm is blowing in, right? <laughs> the Queen of Swords cuts the bullshit out of her life, right? Yes, and she leads with wisdom and diplomacy, okay? She sits on the dragon throne with her owl right by her side. She trusts her intuition. She trusts all of her senses. I've been talking about the gut instinct. The owl sits still, right? He hunts at night. Sometimes you don't even hear him coming. Mm, you're feeling very uh, tied down in a situation, yeah, but it's all a mind trap. It's all mental, okay? And that's why they're saying change it up. Stimulate your mind in new ways, my loves, okay? Let's get some future advice for the Libra Collective here. We, uh, future advice for the Libra Collective in July. Messages of money are coming, by the way. Page of Pentacles. Be realistic. That's this page, okay? She carries all the tools on her tool belt, all the wisdom that she's already learned. Look at that, all her magic potion bottles. She understands what manifesting is all about. That pentacle is above the mountain, right? The, it's above the mountain. The eagle soars high above the mountain. <laughs> As above, so below, right? This is also like a young energy coming into your life uh, that could even be like a financial whiz kid, by the way. 
Uh, lots of messages and lots of movement coming fast with the Eight of Wands. What else? Page of Pentacles is uh, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo energy. And three more cards just came out. Thank you, thank you, thank you for just the light sprinkling and cooling me off. I appreciate you all. Love you, Mama. Um, two of Wands. How many twos you got up in here? You're indecisive about something. It looks like you got a couple of choices out there in the window, and you're just not sure what choice to make. You need to get out of your head and into your heart center and mind, darlings. Okay? Um, strength around you. Leo energy around you. Strength twice in your reading. I'm going to say that that quadruples everything. That gives more power to everything that I've said here. Hell yes. You wrestling with your own dragon. <laughs> Yar! And she's dressed in white. And she's dressed with a rose headband on. High vibrational love, purity. It was why she's in white. You're divinely protected at this time. Somebody's getting a wake-up call. Maybe it was you that got the wake-up call. Okay? See all of these past versions of you in the coffins here? Yeah. Get yourself outside of the box. Okay? Take with you the wisdom that you've learned from your past selves. And move forward with your golden wisdom. The owl is also guiding you. The owl is here sitting up in the tree. I love you, Libras. That's what I got for you today because it's really starting to get everything wet here. Okay? Listen to the song Tears from Heaven because it's all over in your reading here. And thank you, Mama, for drying, for cooling me off of it as I was sitting here sweating to begin with. So my cards are getting a little bit of a purification. Thank you, Libra. I love you, love you, love you. Claim this reading if it was yours. I know yours is a little bit shorter, but honestly, I really don't want my phone to get soaked. You know? <laughs> Allow the emotions to be released and commune with nature. Nature is speaking to you right now. I love you.